welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And check out my forum at computersluggish.com. In today's video, I will be showing you how to install and set up LibreOffice on Windows 10. To start off with, first you need to click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, we now need to hover over download and click and you now need to click on the first link which is download the LibreOffice and we now need to select our version of Windows 10. I have a 64-bit version which means I need to select 64-bit and you now need to select download. We now need to go save file. Once the download has finished, we can now go ahead and run the setup file. You now need to press OK. And we now need to go next. And you can now choose typical or you can choose custom. I'm going to go ahead and select the default option and go next. You can now choose if you'd like to create a shortcut. I'm happy with that, which means I'm going to go install now. And it's now installed in LibreOffice. OK, it has now asked me to restart my PC, which means make sure you have saved everything and closed everything down. Once you have, go ahead and press OK. Once you have restarted your PC, you will now notice LibreOffice shortcut on your desktop. We now need to open up this shortcut and you will now end up with a window that looks like this. On the left hand side, as you can see, we have a writer, a calc, we have impress, draw, math and base. The first option is to create documents, second is create spreadsheet, presentation, then we've got drawer and formula and database. As you can see, these are all fantastic alternatives to Microsoft Office. LibreOffice is really good and I do recommend you give it a try. I'm going to go ahead and open up a spreadsheet. Also, all the formats in this program are compatible with Microsoft Office as well and you can open up Microsoft Office documents in the spreadsheet or document or whatever option you choose presentation. And there we go. As you can see, we can go ahead and create a document, a spreadsheet one, and it's all basically the same as it would be in Office. And that is basically it for this tutorial. As I said, I do recommend you download and give this program a try. It's definitely worth it. If this video did help, then hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forum.